Hello, and welcome back to XCOM. I'm your commander, the Social Solipsist, and we are still sort of in the end game, I suppose. Um, let's look at the situation room. So our objectives are increase our soldier's psionic strength. So we basically need to keep grinding for a while. That's what this comes down to. Um, and so we're going to do exactly that. Um, still nothing on the research docket, I believe. Engineering, we've got some foundry stuff that we could be doing, but it honestly doesn't matter. You know, this might not hurt. We might as well. We've got the money. Um... I'm not sure about... Hmm. Well, if we're going to keep taking the shiv with us, then shiv repair might be worthwhile as well. It doesn't cost much anyway. Okay. I don't know why they're out of order like that. That's kind of weird. Anyway, um... I think that's about it. We're, we're now all decked out in the ship list. Everybody's got EMP cannons. Um, so I guess we'll just get going. Cool. Oh boy. Picking up an enormous power signature. Whatever it is, it must be fully loaded. We should expect heavy resistance. Well, battleship class, that's not great, but we should be okay, right? All right, um Earl Gl Earl Grey with honey. You coming with me? We're gonna do this together. Jesus, look at the size of that thing. Well, at least we took it down. Holy shit, that thing is huge, though. It can't actually be that big, right? That that's like bigger than anything else we've we've ever boarded, except for the actual battleship mission over China. Crew size 23. Fuck me. Um, well, we're in for a rough, rough fucking mission. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, that's, that's unbelievable. Why are you making me do this game? Okay, well... Um, if we're going to do this, let's do this the best way we can. Uh, engineering, I'm going to need you to give me some more plasma pistols since we don't have a lot of them right now. Um, Uh, let's see if there's anything else at all. Hold on. It's just flat, but oops. I believe it's the one we have is just flatly the best, but I want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, if we build a mine shield, I don't. Ugh. Blah. Um. Amplify the word psionic abilities through a system model of. Uh, 
Increases wearer's will by 20 for psi attacks and defense. You know what? We might as well. Um, if not now, then when, right? Anything else at all? Um, we'll take the shiv to... Since it can't be... Uh, um, attacked with psi attacks. Um, and then I think... Vampire... You have the ghost armor on right now, which we really haven't put to very good use. Um, You've done it, Commander. Dr. Bowen is confident that this soldier has the power to interact with the alien device. I recommend we get started immediately. Really? That's interesting. It, okay. Um... Except hasn't unlocked. Okay, I'm very confused by that. We're just gonna ignore it any either way. Um, but that doesn't seem like it should that that should have triggered. Um, okay, so let's see here. Uh, loadout wise. You know what? Um, as, muddy, as much as I want Crawford to level up, um, I think I'm going to bring Cargo on this one instead. defended as possible, but ay 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 um what is everybody's aim I mean everybody's pretty god damn it um it would not be nice especially with the new shiv heal have somebody with an arc thrower, but I mean, the fact that it self-heals every turn, it, I it should hopefully be good enough. I'd like to believe. I'm just, my only question is whether or, or not um, Vampire should be wearing the Titan armor instead. Because this one, this one is not sealed, right? That's four less health. It's a little bit risky, but I don't know. Or the archangel armor. Hopefully there aren't enough cases where that's required. Let's just go before we overthink this more. <clears throat> Lord help us. Loki, the crash the alien crash site is in a remote area. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Quickly, we may be able um, to secure the site before the aliens have time to regroup. I mean, that looks like a unique, a unique map, but I don't think this is. Although Operation Shattered Mountain is a pretty wild designation. 
Oh boy. This is not going to be fun. This is bigger than anything we've seen so far. Yeah, I'll say. The impact, the ship seems to be in relatively good shape. We don't know what to expect in there. I mean, we landed we on it. The craft's bridge as quickly as possible. You know what? Uh You're in first. Of course. Sure. This actually works out. Oh, really? Okay, well. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to shoot it twice. And then... Arcade is going to punch the shit out of it. Approaching to engage. Fuck you. That's what I have to say. <laughs> okay. Let's send the shiv through, see if we can't clear up at least one of the others. At this point, I'm just kind of pissed off, so... Okay, who's got movement to... Yeah, that's good enough. Well, we've started out all right under the circumstances, so. <sighs> okay, let's take a minute to look at the layout of this thing. Oh boy, we've got the like multi, multi-depth pits and things. This is gonna be a doozy. Ah, <sighs> okay. Moving out. Fortunately, we've already killed three out of twenty three, so I don't know. I'm hoping that maybe with such a huge amount of space, maybe they, hopefully they haven't packed everyone in in, a, in big groups. We might actually have a good chance of, of um, Location confirmed. clearing this out in a timely fashion. Guess we'll find out in due time. Oops, that's not what I want to do, come on. Okay, um, I'm just trying to think about where everybody's going to end up going in the next couple of turns in terms of... <clears throat> yeah, my concern is that a sectopod in, a pit, in the pit is going to be a bad time. Well, that's not so bad. Should be reasonably easy to clean up. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Nice. 
this. Interesting that we've got a better chance to hit the Berserker, but that's actually good because that'll draw him this way. Should make him easier to hit for Bonsai. Yep, there we go. Good. Alright. Two down. And one to go. Alright, alright. We're doing alright. Let me save before I curse us. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna. Well, I guess Vi Vampire doesn't have the chance to move anyway. So. Although I'm remembering again that I need to be more diligent about reloading. Um, reloading uh, Arcade's gun, but that's alright. see how much there is there's whole wings off to the side here I think oh no they're not huge so that's okay but they might still have junk in them so nobody's poking their head in there solo it's my feeling I'd like to think that if anyone were over there we'd be seeing them across the way here There's just so many little nooks and crannies in this. Your position. That's interesting. Why can you not? Can you not pop that door because you don't have hands, or some some other reason? I guess the shiv doesn't have hands, so. I'm not sure if this is entirely the same or just very similar to um, the battleship mission, but you can't open that either, huh? All right. Well, let's see here. All right, I think we're okay. Where can you see? Probably nowhere. Hopefully that's a safe move. Vision-wise. Um, I think moving all the way up there is going to be too much, but moving to there should be a solid progression without triggering anything. So, what have we got? I 
actually don't know that the shiv uses cover. You'd think it should, but it would be just like this game to not not include it in the cover mechanic. Target confirmed. On our way. I'm on it. I don't think I want to put Arcade over there. I think that's just asking for her to be out of position when we need her. Alright, let's see who... Who shows up to the party? Um, should I run all the way down there or should I run partially down there? Um, why don't we have... No, she's going to be dashing. Um... I don't know that there's a good way to do this at all, so... Huh. Yeah, I didn't think about them using not using the cover system. Um, okay, that's not too bad. Um, we could reasonably take that out this turn, I think, even. Unless anything else pops up, which would be Heading to that bad. Way. Really? Heavy fire here. Hmm. Well, might destroy the energy thing, but that's damn. Whatever. Negative damage. Um Hmm. Maybe I was a little too cocky. Guarantees that. Let's see if we can't deal with the um, the sectoid as well. Not enough, huh? Okay. Well, it may need to get a free shot then. I want it to take its free shot at one of the mech characters, if at all possible. Um, is there really no way we can... Hmm, I guess not. Oh well. On the move. Maybe we can draw fire? make it take a worse shot than it normally would. No need to ask twice. Time to motor. Who are you going to shoot, buddy? Over the edge. All right, so that could have gone worse. 
technically could have done it without damage if I had been a little less hasty, but we'll live. Once I get down here, I'm going to re reload her gun. Um, Good to go. Cause that new that new top level ability is, as we saw, I think in the last mission, pretty killer as a safety measure. So that's how many down? Nine, I think? It's not bad at all. That would be a, basically a whole mission not that long ago. But we do uh, still have sectopods and ethereals and other things on the docket, so... Let's not uh, call it too early. Should have moved up Bonsai before I reloaded her gun. I don't know why I didn't do that. You hear that? Moving. All right, we're only gonna open one door. It's gonna be this one. Who we got? Really, no one? But I heard something. There we are. Okay. I knew I shouldn't just ignore it. Nice. Multiple reaction shots, because I can do that. Get him. Get him. It's all right. These are all pretty much free anyway. Really, no targets, huh? Theoretically, that should mean they can't see me either, but I'm sure that's not actually the case. Would like to get Psy XP while we while we can. The maniacal cackling is a little a little too much, I think. Um should I move up and try? Or am I just asking for something else to happen? I think that's asking for trouble. Why do you get to take shots without that you even moved? You, shouldn't you take a reaction shot penalty? Are you kidding me? Oh, well, that's garbage. All right. Well, you know what, jackass?
Oh boy. Okay, what do we do here? Grenade. Enjoy. Um, I don't think that's... Let's see. Bonsai has uh, lightning reflexes, so we're going to do this the correct, safe way. Run straight up there. Tell that guy to kindly fuck the hell off. Get out of here with your teleporting bullshit. What is with that overlay? I don't know why that's happening. Is that just a, like, vignetting thing going on? I don't know. <sighs> of course everybody's shooting at Skinner, because why wouldn't they be? up just to inside and then hit her with a heal and everybody else overwatch that was dumb dumber than it needed to be basically you got oh, let's see this is the downside of me moving the vampire that way but that's all right let's see arcade you move up see if you trigger anyone hopefully you won't but Well, fuck me. I wish you had shot at the sectopod instead, but hey, at least you'll take away its healing ability early. <clears throat> okay, well, let's see here. Let's save for one, just in case. Tactically, I don't know why the aliens would choose to uh, arrange themselves this way, but so be it. Um, I actually don't know how it's handled, if it goes off automatically or just as soon as they try and move within it. Regardless, it's 8 damage and I think that's going to be to my benefit no matter what. Um, although of course there's the damage reduction going on. Um, fortunately Skinner has heat ammo. Um, Although, I actually don't know how far it can launch its garbage cluster grenades from that are totally unfair. So, I think it's, well, let's see. I could move up there, or work on moving up there. God, is this, this is probably really stupid, but... Yeah, okay. Well, it's going to take a reaction shot, because of course it fucking is. God damn it. Because it can just see through anything. Alright. I don't think that we can wait at this door anymore. I think we have to risk it. 
just so we can work on flanking. Although, I'm not opposed to reloading if we accidentally trigger some garbage. Is that a viable shooting angle? I don't even know. Probably not. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Alright man, what are you about to do? Cool, that's good. Nice. Free damage. Free-ish damage. Please, do move. Walk into the... What was that? Wait, why did that not set off the mine? Don't tell me it doesn't affect flying enemies. It probably doesn't. Okay, well, uh, let's see here. Walsh, we need to get you safe again. Um, I'm sure it's on Overwatch again, because why wouldn't it be? Let's put those lightning reflexes to good use and pray that there's nothing... Wait a minute. Oh, fuck me. Contact. Well, that's garbage, but, um... Hmm. Really, no targets available. Oh, what do I do here? Do I reload? I need that thing to fuck off, and if I can do extra damage while I do it, then... Sure. Extra explosive damage from the fuel tank is something I don't mind at all. Um... At this point, this is all a Hail Mary anyway, so let's go for this. Alright, could kill any one of these three. Uh, possible kill on that one. Not a chance of a kill on that, but... Who's the biggest threat? It's basically what it comes down to. And what kind of damage can this guy weather? I don't know why this animation takes so long, but... Uh, okay. Alright, what can we do? What can we do? Um, maybe it's not on Overwatch since the Shiv already ran out and it was... Okay, um... Okay. 
Interesting. All right. Wang, I'm going to have you move up and heal her, and then she's going to keep moving. Oh, fuck. I didn't think that through. What did I do that for? Okay. Um... How did you do that for? That was not smart. Not that I'm complaining. You didn't get a reaction shot? Interesting. Oh, please don't. Can we not? Ugh. <clears throat> of course, everyone's going to focus fire because they're all fucking assholes. Oh, that was the save that I just hit. Um, okay. Whoops. Ah. <sighs> Wow, that was all in the one turn? Okay. Let's not fight two wars at the same time this time around, huh? Okay, theoretically that should mean she can't be seen, but I don't really trust that. Um... so mean while they do that. Just in case any asshole decides to come through on their own. I do wish that Skinner had her own uh, med packs, but she'll live. I think I should move up for defensive purposes. Headed there now. Roger. My eye on. Okay, let's see if this goes better. It still made that dumb, same dumb shot. For some reason, we're getting to see these guys come through. Interesting. She also didn't take a reaction shot after the sectopod shot at her, which is... She did this time, though. Of course, for some reason, she can't hit anything. Uh, that was weird. 
Okay. Let me remind myself of her abilities. Um... Close combat specialist. So she should... She should be able to... Defend herself if I don't shoot the... Reduces incoming melee damage by 50%. She's also... The chitin plating also protects her additionally. So I think... Clearing out the doing my best to clear out the sectopod this turn is my best choice. Unless Huh. That's surprisingly low. Okay, let's look at the others for a second here. Did that mine go... Did I not set the mine? I thought the mine was there when I fired the grenade. Hmm. Bye -bye. Let's see here. Again, the chrysalids are not the imminent threat at all. But I also don't want to put anyone in additional danger just to kill the sectopod if I can avoid it. Um, is this gonna... That shouldn't trigger a reaction shot, right? Fuck you. The rules on reaction shots are just garbage. Like, at no point did she swing around that corner. It, theoretically, by its by the game's own rules, should not be able to see her move. Fifty-five percent... Wait, oh, right. Still a fifty-five percent critical on that. Despite being hardened. Huh. Oh, yeah, I guess the chrysalids are also hardened, aren't they? Hmm. Well, let's give it a try. I don't really want to bust through that door, but... And do I want to risk Arcade just to get a better shot? Kind of do. I'm on the move. think this is going to be a... Oh, I didn't think that through. Okay, well. Hmm. That might have been a huge mistake. I don't know why I didn't think of that. That was obviously how that was going to happen. <clears throat> okay, well, if we're, they're already triggered... <laughs> Excuse me. Let's kill this motherfucker once and for all. Yeah, fuck off. Um, how much damage? Did she take damage? I think she took damage. Hmm, okay.
Here we go. We can do this. This should be easy, actually, now. Now that I think about it. High crit chance. Thank you. Cleaned up. And we'll bring cargo around to take one last hot shot. Um, hold on, is she the only one with a shot left? Yeah. So which one's more critical? As much as I think that Skinner can hold her own if that thing moves, um, on a fundamental level, Arcade self heals and Skinner doesn't, so I'd rather just. Uh, I didn't think about that. Thankfully, it had to move twice. All right. Uh, let's all take a breather. Ready to engage. Heading to that location. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Unfortunately, we still have an ethereal to deal with, but we'll get there when we get there. Sounded like it came from the left. Whoops, I didn't mean to nah, push it too far, that's okay. Moving out. I'm hope hoping that it's just the ethereal and maybe one or two muton elites left. So who all, is it still just Skinner that's wounded? Skinner and Arcade? Okay, let's move up half step and reload. Skinner's taken quite the beating this uh this mission. Definitely deserves a purple heart or Reloading. equivalent. Now that I think about it, it almost behooves you not to move the mission along too fast if you've got mechs or shivs because they self-heal. So the longer you make them hang out, the less time they're out of commission to heal later on. Because for some reason, the thing they can do in one turn takes them two days once you get back. Well, I've never used the... I still haven't used the fly mechanic that that, that the shiv has, but maybe one of these days. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yes, we already know that there's something there. Okay, um, I'm actually going to, let's see, I'm gonna move Arcade, should I move her right into the middle there? I'm trying to think about placement for both healing and stacking up on the door, um, and who should be at the, at the door. Um, and in terms of like reaction shots and things like that, I don't think I want her in the doorway because that blocks the way. But I don't want her at the corner either because she can't, she can't make the turn. However, I think if I do this... Have Vampire use her last med kit. Hey, quiet, big baby. It's fine. Please be nice. Um, and then also stack up the shiv in the same ish place. care about the meld so I'd rather take another round of healing wait does arcade not heal up all the way six t total of six health can be regenerated per battle oh not as crazy durable as I thought. Okay. Hmm. So the question is, should I have everybody go on Overwatch and then have someone pop the door? Or should I just pop the door and then move in, res in as a result? I don't know what it looks like on the other side of the door. So, it's hard to make that choice. Let's do something dumb. And then possibly reload about it. <laughs> Huh. That's not what I expected. Moving to firing position. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Oh, fuck me. Of course it's going to work that way. So, kill that asshole. And I get to take a reaction shot, so his kill is basically free! Awesome! Um, alright. You've already got a 73% on that guy, so you might as well try it. Nice. Perfect. Threat essentially neutralized. Awesome. Heading to that location. And the ethereal retreated into that back corner. Um, should have reloaded you before, but that's okay. We'll go. It's interesting that they can see from like this position here for some reason. 
who who are they? I assume they're seeing the Muton Elite, but where even is he? That that would I guess he's maybe around this corner. So maybe we should stack up everyone else to fire at him when he turns the corner. Oh, interesting. Um, You're gonna wish you stayed home. I have no idea why that viewing angle works. Good thing I mind fray, mind fray, mind flay, mind fray. Mind Flay is probably copyrighted by Wizards of the Coast. Okay. Um. Well. The Shiv can't be... Well, no, the Shiv... Can, uh, it can take damage from the Ethereal still. Um. So... Oh, there's no time like the present. Tell this guy to buzz off. <clears throat> Although... Hmm. Interesting. The ethereal is no longer visible. These viewing angles, I swear, they just get stranger every day. I don't know why there was a pause there, that was odd. Why can you, why are you the only person who can see it? Fucking weird. Well. Would you like a proximity mine? I'd like to give you a proximity mine. Mine in position. Watch your step. Enjoy. That's a load of the target. That's all right. The mine will clear clean it up. <laughs> Fuck you. Bite my shiny metal ass. <laughs> mission accomplished. Uh, you know, all things considered, that mission went pretty well. That was a hell of a thing, though. It made me feel pretty good, though. I, I, I have to say, I'm, I'm quite happy with how that went. With the exception of some own, some of my own uh, hubris-based mistakes. It's amazing to me that Skinner has been on 25 missions. But, she's been around. Um... Yeah, why not? Cool. 
for being arguably forces launched a direct assault on the aliens in order to recapture her for themselves. If what she's saying is true, Exalt is even more brazen and dangerous than we initially suspected. What a weird way of storytelling. Just don't get it. Anyway, um, yeah, for... Uh, that was arguably the hardest. Uh, aside from the XCOM base assault, I think that's probably the hardest mission we've done, and we succeeded at it um, pretty in a pretty exemplary manner, so I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, thank you guys as always for watching XCOM, and I will see you guys next time.